What's up, YouTube? And what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to a Pokemon anime review of Sun and Moon episode 49. Now, before we jump in, Ultra Sun and Moon, as of when this video goes up, is just four days away. And as you can tell, we've got some upgrades to our setup. We've got a new chair. We've got new lighting, as you can tell. And there's some other stuff that's going to be coming with this playthrough. I hope you'll join us for it because it's going to be amazing. We're going to have so much fun doing everything in this game. Now, as far as this episode goes, episode 49 goes, it was potentially the best episode that we've had so far, but that means that we're gonna be in for about the longest review that we've had. I don't wanna rush through it. There was so much that happened. So, let's jump in. Now, this episode starts off with Lily journaling as she's been doing the last several episodes. She's recapping last episode, which is where Kukui, uh, they, oh, the whole gang stayed over at Kukui's, and you can, of course, check that out. We did a review of that episode as well. But she's recalling her meeting later in the episode, the very end of the episode, with Type Null, where she became frozen, where she can't touch Pokemon anymore. anymore. And Snowball comes up to her, and I'm assuming this is like the night of that event. Snowball comes up, Lily's unable to touch her. So the title roll or the intro rolls and um, the episode is called Lily and Sil Valley Awakening Memories or uh, Lily and Type No Awakening S Memories. I don't know which one it is, but it starts off with Gladion and Ash talking on the uh, talking on the beach. Gladion asks why Ash brought brought her to see Gladion. And man, right from the beginning, the episode, like I said, is just throwing punches. There's so much to this episode. And Ash tries to say that it was Nebby that teleported, uh, uh, so Nebby that teleported um, um, Lily down to where Gladion was, and Gladion is absolutely not happy with that response, saying that Lily remembered something from her past that she shouldn't have remembered because of that seeing type null. Um, so then, I'm guessing that from that encounter, Gladion goes back to his hotel. If you remember the Sun and Moon games, we meet Gladion in his hotel. I believe it's like Route 8 or whatever that route is, right around Lush Jungle, whatever it is. Um, but um, the like the person that gave Gladion his key to his room says that someone from his family was there and he let him into his room. None other than Sal Bo, the person that we predicted was the evil guy from all along. Spoilers for about however long it takes us to get there. He is the bad guy. Um, but anyway, Sal Bo knows that Lily is unable to touch Pokemon again and is seemingly happy with that and wants Gladion to return Null to him, saying that Sal Bo is the one that created Null uh, and wants him back. And Gladion says, you're not getting Noel back, and calls up his Lycanroc and his Umbreon. His Umbreon's name is Blackie. Is that normally Umbreon's name? Can we talk about this for just a moment? No, we're not going to talk about that for just a moment. But anyway, Sabo calls forward an Alakazam and a Hypno. Uh, and they go to fighting in the hotel room. You got Stone Edge, you got Psychic, you got all kinds of weird stuff. Um, but Hypno goes and puts Lycanroc to sleep, and Umbreon gets hit by Psychic. My Umbreon doesn't get hit by Psychic. Gladion, what you doing, my guy? You gotta get to training that. Uh, but anyway, Hypno puts Gladion to sleep and Salbo steals Null's Pokeball. Wow! Episode is just... Episode's flames. The next day at school, the, game is, the gang is encouraging Lily to touch Pokemon. They all know it and they're just supporting her and Burnett shows up to do the exact same thing. Lily gets a whole bunch of, bunch of confidence in her and says, you know what, I'm gonna do it. And stands up and says, Snowball, come here! And Snowball jumps at Lily, and at the last second, Lily freezes up, and Snowball is just kind of hanging on Lily to where Burnett has to take him off. Um, so, uh, and then there was this, like, cutscene, you know, like, you've, if you've seen the, the series, you know that, like, Komala, every once in a while, like, rings the bell. I guess say that school's over. Um, and apparently the bell is a bronzong, and I just realized it in this episode. I don't know how I just realized it, but, um... Lily decides that she wants to take a walk with Snowball to try and, you know, reacquaint herself. See if she can get back, because that's how, that's when she first touched Snowball, was on a walk. And Ash decides he wants to go along with. It takes a quick cut to show that Lycanroc and Litten are training together as they do regularly. And Litten goes to do a fire fang after dodging a uh, rock throw. And, like, powers up. Like, his whole body goes in flames. 
and he attacks and does serious damage to Lycanroc. And this is just furthering the idea that Litten is going to evolve to a Tauracat soon. I can't wait for that to happen. I like how they just throw that little bit in there just to remind us that those two are still doing stuff, even though a whole bunch of Lily story is going on right now. So on their walk, Lily asks Ash about uh, what Gladion said about her to Ash. And Ash is like, how did you know I met with Gladion? And um, Lily then remembers her first encounter. Uh, wait, hold on. Oh, Ash impersonates Gladion being upset with him. Uh, and it was some pretty funny little faces in there. And then Lily goes to remember the time, her first encounter with, her fir the first time she encountered Null some time ago in her past, the past that we've forgotten. Um, but Ash, Pikachu, and Rotom try to cheer Lily up, and Ash looks like he has a crush. Now, I like Lily. Don't get me wrong. I like Lily. However, Ash, I want to remind you, there is this girl. Okay, Ash. Her name is Serena. Okay? Ash, no. Anyway, we're going to move on from that. Um, where am I? Lily states that she wants to know everything that happened in her past. So what happens? Well, Nebby starts teleporting them around. The first place that they teleport them to is to a, just an island where Lusamine had taken Lily and Gladion. And this is where you see the picture that's going around everywhere where Lusamine is looking nice. Okay, Lusamine looks great. I'm not going to go any further than that, but Lusamine looks great. Um, teleports into a vegetable orchard, a restaurant, to Lily and Gladion's childhood room, to Lusamine's current office, uh, where we see that kid Gladion was really cute, and then some pictures on the wall. We again get to see that Lusamine is fine. Anyway, then Nebby decides to teleport the group to a laboratory in the basement of Aether Paradise, and we're only halfway through the episode. You just knew some stuff was about to go down and it's been building up for so long it went down let me tell you that so it starts off um where we see sal Bo has type null uh, has his pokeball and notices that an ultra reading is very nearby and sees the group on the camera so we see team rocket and sal Bo stops them and wants them to uh wants them to track down lily now i'm gonna jump around just a little bit here but um Salbo tells Team Rocket he wants to tra track down Lily so that he can uh, erase her memories. Well, Team Rocket wasn't down for this. And Team Rocket starts telling off Salbo and says, We ain't doing that. We stand for righteous evil, not evil evil. And Team Rocket leaves. Gone. Out of there. Peace. Like, just straight up left. Cool. So it's up to Salbo. Um, just before that, though, we see Gladion confronting Lusamine and asking, like, in Lusamine's office and asking where Null is. Uh, and Lusamine seems really sad, seems really upset, and doesn't know that Salbo had taken Null. This furthers our thing that Salbo is actually the bad guy. Uh, but Lusamine remembers that Salbo was originally working on Null before and tells Gladion that the, uh, the project apparently failed, to which was news to Gladion. Uh, but Gladion explains that Noel had saved him and Lily at one point. Hang on, we'll get there. It all happens in this episode. So Nebby teleports the gang, the, the, the gang of Ash, Pikachu, Lily, and Rotom, teleports them to another lab where they're confronted by Alakazam, Hypno, and Salbo. Everyone gets hit by Psychic except for Lily, who gets taken by Salbo. Um, so Gladion and Lusamine are then searching through Salbo's lab, trying to find um, Noel's ball, uh, but they can't seem to find it. And Gladion calls out Lusamine for wanting to meet an Ultra Beast after what had happened to Lily, and says that Salbo lied of his intention. And Lusamine starts to break down, she says she's sorry. And at that point, Gladion finds Noel's Pokeball. Woo! Woo! Oh man! Oh man, we're getting absolutely crazy. Now, Hypno starts to use hypnosis on Lily um, to erase her memories of just everything. I don't know what all he's going to erase, but he's trying to erase everything from this. Oh, I guess just trying to make sure that she can't touch Pokemon because he keeps saying that that could be trouble. Um, but Nebby teleports the others in and Ash tells Pikachu, use Iron Tail on Hypno's Reflect and Hypno wins the exchange. I don't get it. Pikachu has been so strong. I guess I get it. 
I guess I get it. Hang on, hang on. I'll explain in a second. Uh, but Nebby starts, Nebby teleports the group out of hypnosis range so they don't lose their memories. Alakazam uses Psychic on the group. Hypno restricts their movement. And then Alakazam uses Psychic on Lily and starts floating upwards. Hold on. Gladion and Lusamine rush in. We're not even done yet. The episode still, like, hasn't even hit its peak. Okay. Gladion throws out Type Null. Lily absolutely freaks out at the sight of him, goes through the memory of it, and then freaks out. And Gladion yells to, uh, to Null to save Nebby, or to save Lily, to which Null evolves into Silvalli right then and there. Breaks his headgear and breaks out. And Silvalli charges at Lily and sees the, we see the scene, or the little image that Lily remembers of Silvalli. Because, uh, like, if Silvalli, or if, if Lily's here and Alakazam's back here, right, restricting Lily, um, Silvalli jumps up and attacks Alakazam. And Lily looks back, and this is where we start having a big, big, big flashback. It flashes back to Lily's childhood. And we see that Lily was, um, we see that Lily was looking for Lusamine in this basement of Aether, um, but can't find her, but instead finds the first wormhole of the series we see, and Niheligo pops out. Oh my gosh, wild. Now we also see Salbo, but Salbo is also scared about this Ultra Beast, so Nihilego actually picks up, um, picks up Lily and starts to go back towards the wormhole. Like, why is Nihilego stealing children? But then we see Silvalli run up, just like Silvalli just did, and takes out Nihilego. And this is when, and at that point, when they were young, Lily fainted and just didn't remember that Silvalli had saved her. Um, so at this point, Lily kind of, Lily remembers what happens, and we'll get to that in just a second. But Gladion calls Silvalli the reborn sacred beast and throws him a dark memory disc to which Silvalli changes types and that immediately changed how I felt about Silvalli. I wasn't a big fan, but this was really cool. Like Gladion threw him the disc, it went into his little ear thing and then he changed into a dark type, used multi-attack and took out both Hypno and Alakazam. It was absolutely amazing. To top it off, after that, Lusamine runs up to Lily and starts hugging her, saying she's sorry, I'm so sorry and starts crying. And the whole group seems really happy. Even Lily seems happy about this. But then Salbo sneaks away. Hold that thought for just a moment. Um, so Lily walks up to Silvalli and apologizes to him for being wrong about him for all this time and gives him a hug. Lily gives Silvalli a hug. At that point, Lily also touches Snowball. Gives Snowball, you know, Snowball jumps into her arms. Pikachu runs up and is, you know, jumps also into her arms. Cosmog runs up and Lily holds Cosmog. And so the whole group, Gladion, Lusamine, and Ash are watching Lily and they're all extremely happy. But Salbo got away and that's where we see To Be Continued. Absolutely amazing episode. I love Lily. I love Gladion. I love Lusamine. Salbo can jump off a bridge like, ugh. It was an absolutely amazing episode. So then the preview for next week happened. We see Lily at the Pokemon school or wherever this happens, uh, where she's hugging on. Um, we see it with Litten, um, but she says that she wants to touch all the Pokemon. Um, but Salbo comes, kidnap, kidnaps Cosmog. Lusamine is battle battling with her Cafable. Cafable is using Giga Impact. We see another wormhole. We see Nihilego again. And then we are pretty much confirmed that Salbo is the evil one, at least to this point. Woo! Like I said, there was so much in this episode. So from here, I want to give like a little pre a little prediction of what I think. From here, I think the only possibility is that this is where we see Lusamine go bad. Even though there's still so much more story, there's so much more evolving so many more Pokemon that need to be caught. There's so many more areas that need to be visited. So many more characters to be introduced to. 
I feel like if Nihiligo is going to appear to Lusamine in the next episode, like all of the good that Lusamine showed in today's episode, or today in, in this episode, it's just going to be null. It's just going <laughs> to... Anyway, it's just going to be just, just, it's not going to be there. So that'll be interesting. I really like Lusamine. I really hope they don't just completely destroy, destroy her forever. I also hope that Salbo is gone. So anyway, this was an absolutely wild episode. As always, let me know what your favorite part of the episode was in the comments below. Four days, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are here, and our playthrough starts. We're going to do our best to make it the best playthrough on YouTube. I hope you'll join us for it. We'll see you for the next Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review, which might happen next week, and we might just push it off for a while until Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are done. I really, I really am not sure how I'm going to do that. But anyway, we'll see you next time. Until then, have a blessed day.